We were traveling to Uganda's Buwindi Impenetrable Forest National Park to go mountain gorilla tracking. Buwindi is the home of around 320 of the roughly 700 mountain gorillas still alive in the wild today. Since no mountain gorilla has ever survived in captivity, this small number, which lives in Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, is all that remains and is in great need of protection. After traveling most of the day, we arrived at Gorilla Forest Camp and settled in for the night. Early the next morning, led by park rangers, we entered the impenetrable forest and tried to locate our assigned gorilla group. Only eight people can visit each habituated gorilla family for just one hour a day. We were lucky, for our advanced trackers found our family within a couple of hours. It was truly a privilege to be in the presence of these awe-inspiring fellow beings.
It's the people and park rangers of Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo who offer the greatest hope for the continued survival of the mountain gorilla. The protection of the gorilla has demanded enormous commitment. Over 120 rangers in the DRC have lost their lives in the line of duty after a decade of armed conflict. In July 2007, six mountain gorillas were murdered in the DRC, and photos of the dead gorillas being carried like royalty by grieving villagers went around the world, sparking outrage and revulsion. The senseless killing of these intelligent, unassuming creatures, the park rangers refer to as our brothers, brought an outpouring of support, and it is hoped increasing protection for these few remaining gentle giants. I'm John Kay for the Maui Kay Foundation.